Hey guys, Grampy here. Thought I'd do a quick video on a water heater upgrade that I did. I wouldn't normally call going from gas to electric an upgrade, going from propane to electric in this case. Um, but because my cabin house, the cabin in the main house uh, had gas before and I, I worry about propane being heavier than air and people getting down or trying to light the hot water heater and something not nice happening. So it already did kind of blow up in one of my son's faces once. So uh, here's what I did. Let me turn it around and show you. Okay, so here's the main house box. So I put a 30 amp, I took out two spaces left, but I put a 30 amp breaker in and from the 30, uh, 30 amp breaker, I ran a 10 gauge wire. This is Romex along down here to the other side of the furnace. Pick it up over here. This down here is at least 100 years old. And, uh, you know, ran it down alongside the vent of the furnace down to a disconnect. And uh, I have the power in on this one, power out on this one, and a disconnect switch here. So if you'll notice this is off. So someone comes, they're gonna use the place, they come over to the switch, they just, they just flip the switch up on and bingo, hot water is heating. Turn the switch off when they leave. Bingo, everything's shut down. And it's marked here, H2O switch, off position, on position. Not to be mistaken with the furnace switch that turns the furnace on and off. I should probably mark that furnace switch. And uh, I plug the gas line for now. I'm going to get a uh, 3 8 inch cap next time I come back here. And I'm going to put a 3 8 inch cap, 3 8 inch cap on this T, cap that line. So we're good to go. Everything's looking good. And uh, made it safer, made it easier to deal with. So... This is Grampy, signing off. I'll talk to you later. Bye.